Hey guys, welcome to Demon Edge Games, and um, we're going to do a, uh, a video on setting up Loot Appraiser and TSW. Um, these are the main things, uh, the main add-ons I use to gather gold um, from uh, doing uh, uh, farming runs in uh, like old dungeons and instances. Um, Loot Appraiser kind of gives you the general values of, uh, of items. And T, uh, TSM or Trade Skill Mastered Master uh, will give you is kind of like the uh, sister or the dependency add-on to make Loot Appraiser work. Um, so to make Loot Appraiser work, you have to have Trade Skill Master. Um, I think it's even I think you, I th yeah I think you even need it just for the functionality if I remember correctly. Um, so uh, Loot Appraiser is going to be uh, in your mini map. Um, it's going to be this nice little gold. A gold pile add-on and left clicking will open up the main window right clicking opens up the options um, and when you open it up you've got this nice little box that comes up gives you the where you're at uh, the item value um, the the total value of all your items looted so your gold per hour the raw currency you've you've looted how many items you've looted and noteworthy items uh, noteworthy items are things uh, you can you can select a threshold um, I have mine set for a hundred gold um, and it kind of gives of you a little alert that hey you got this item you got this item that might be able to sell for 500 gold um, and that's kinda that's kinda what it does whenever you're ready to start a session you just click new session and bam you got a timer um, I generally just use it as a timer for my uh, I like to use it as a timer for my for my runs as well to kind of give me a more accurate representation of how long these take. Excuse me. Um, so the second uh, the second add-on is called Trade Skill Master uh, or TSM. Um, this is kind of how you uh, gather all of the market prices. Um, there are there is an add-on that you use in game and then there is also the desktop op application um, all you have to do is go to this website you sign up for a free account there's no strings attached nothing like that um, you install it and bam you're all set up um, you will I think it'll prompt you to you know you select your region and your realms and it will kind of give you a little bit more uh, focused in um, and on that um, so that's all you need to do for Trade Skill Master. Now to get Loot Appraiser set up, uh, you just right click on it. It'll open up with the general, uh, the general tab. And here uh, you have the gold alert threshold so you can select um, how much gold, what, what you want your value threshold to be when you loot something for the, uh, the thing to come up, um, the alert to come up. The quality filter. This is this is what they will you can use to. Uh, it w it's going to pull those prices, um, and it's going to be whatever price is higher to. Uh, uh, it's the vendor price or the value price. So, um, so regardless, you know you're going to be able to get the highest value on this as well, and you can select it for any of these. Uh, then your price source. I'm going to be using the global sale average. Um, I've noticed in a lot of farming videos that people use the market value. Uh, market value seems to be um, how much people put things up for. Uh, you know, you can have an item that's valued at 15,000 gold, but is anybody going to pay that? No. That's why I use the sale average. Uh, and with it being mostly transmog gear, you know, what's going to prevent somebody from just farming it themselves if you know if if, if uh, there's a breastplate that's worth you know 15,000 gold they're not going to go buy it they're going to go farm for it and then they're going to then they're going to sell it themselves so the global sale average kind of brings the price down to something more realistic so that 15,000 gold breastplate you know the actual what it actually sells for is closer to 5 600 and that's kind of why I use this cuz I'm more concerned with making the most gold possible as quickly as possible and efficiently as possible so that's really all there is to setting it up um, I think uh, another note about the trade skill master is uh, after you get the actual um, the desktop application set up it will um, 
you know, it'll it'll you'll have to let it uh, sync up to the uh, to the database of prices, and then you can turn around. Um, then what I did is I closed it out, reopened it, and all the prices were then loaded. Um, you might, I did have a couple issues after the installation. Um, it did crash my computer once or twice, and uh, but I, that might also be because I really don't have the best computer in the world. Um, so just be uh, be aware that you know that might happen, um, and if anybody's got a fix for it, I please please leave it in the comments. So um, that's all there really is. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead, wrap it up, and until next time, guys. Um, happy gaming and thanks for watching. Bye bye.